At MetroPCS, we let the numbers do the talking. Four, enjoy a reliable 4G LTE network that's faster than Sprint. Two, get two free smartphones when you switch to MetroPCS. 99, the percentage of people in the U.S. covered by MetroPCS. Get two free Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime smartphones when you switch. MetroPCS, wireless figured out. Coverage not available in some areas. Sales tax not included in phone price. Excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network are active on Metro PCS in past 90 days. Coverage claim based on talk text coverage. Speed claim from downloads. See store for details, terms, and conditions. Episode 763 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. This is Jeff off in the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. This is one of those tough interview questions You know, I call it a trap question because it seems so easy, yet there are three different ways of answering it. So I do hope you listen to the show carefully, and I hope you give it five stars in iTunes or Stitcher. It does help other people find the show. Now, with that, let's get going. Here's one of those fun interview questions. You know, it's a question that's designed to, not through the specific of the answer, but the explanation that follows cause you to reveal things about yourself that you probably shouldn't reveal. So here's the question. What have you done professionally that you've succeeded at, but isn't an experience you'd ever want to repeat? I love that question. Now, here are three possible ways to answer. First of all, uh, first way you can answer it is by talking about some menial task that you had to do. But you have to make sure that you don't describe it as being unsatisfying um, and as though you're above it all. You know, you can you know, think like a sports team. There are people in baseball who have to sacrifice themselves in order to move a runner over. Well, you can talk about, about that time you swept the floor uh, or um, uh, stuffed envelopes. And, you know, you understand the importance of the role. The place has to stay clean. You know, envelopes have to go out. And, you know, you did it well, but it's not something that really causes your mind to stay active. You coped with it. You put best effort into it. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not something you enjoy doing. That's one way to answer it. Then you talk, you know, another way is by talking about something that, was team related. You know, you worked on this project with other people um, and you describe your role on it. Maybe there were difficult personalities on it. There, maybe there were people who just couldn't see eye to eye and a lot of the team was bumping heads with one another. You tried to be a mediator at times uh, and work on uh, getting collaboration, but there were some personalities there who just didn't want to collaborate it. They just wanted to rule. Uh, and you talk about, you know, your efforts. Uh, we got the thing going. You contributed to making it effective. Some people got ostracized on the project. It was a tough experience, but you all pulled together. Almost all of you pulled together and brought it, uh, brought it home. Third way to answer it, you did something that was really hard. You know, you, thus you have to talk about what made it hard. Maybe it was because it was poorly planned. Maybe it was badly executed. Whatever it was. Don't talk about the blame. Talk uh, talk about the difficulty in delivering what it was that everyone had committed to do. And maybe it was the planning. You weren't involved with that. Uh, But at the end of the day, you did your part. Others did theirs. Some people didn't do it. It eventually came through. Uh, it wasn't necessarily on time. You know, you get the idea. But you know, the idea is talk about something extremely hard, probably from a planning standpoint, um, being the failure uh, is the easiest case to work with. And then work from there and describing what made it so hard. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, here are a few other ways that we can connect with one another. The first one is, if you're an executive and interested in one-on-one coaching, email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us. In the subject line, put the word coaching, so this way I know what it's about. Next, if you're not an executive, the best way to reach out to me is through jobsearchcoachinghq.com. 
There I have curated information from around the web that you can watch, listen to, read, primarily my own information. But again, there's some stuff from other people that's there with their permission. Also, if we are not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love to hear from people who listen to the show. It just puts a big smile on my face, which reminds me, Facebook, connect with me on Facebook. Look for Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and give me five stars. Subscribe to the to the page. You'll get lots of information sent to you daily with different pieces of advice for you. And lastly, because I don't really mention this on the show all that much, in addition to job search coaching, I do executive and what I call business life coaching. You know, business life coaching, where I work with self-employed people who have a lunatic for a boss. You know, people like your wife, husband, partner, friends of yours, who may be either wrestling with something in their business and, and need an advisor to work with, or, you know, people who are doing extremely well and they need to have someone to talk with because business is just exploding for them. So, again, reach out to me through Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us. I'll get back to you. We'll figure out a time to speak. I look forward to helping you. Hope you enjoyed this again and have a great day. Take care.